Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and in this video you will learn how we can create 3D donor chart to showcase some KPI matrix. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created these three a 3D donor chart and here I have displayed service level, quality score and sales conversion. Let me show you. Uh, if I will change the value of let's say service level 95, then it will look like this and quality score i want to take only 35 sales conversion let's say 72 okay so it's looking very beautiful and you can use this chart in your uh, business dashboard or presentations okay so let's start without delay how we can create this in microsoft excel so i'm going to add a new worksheet here click on this plus button now this is new worksheet first of all i will remove the grid lines from this worksheet so i'll go to the view and then you can see this grid lines option is available just uncheck this now grid lines have been removed from this sheet okay now let's say we have to create the chart for service level so i'm taking sl i'm just taking any value you can put your actual service level here to create the service level chart we need a support column here so i'll use that is 100% because i'm considering the service level value is maximum 100% okay and that is why i'm taking here 100% minus d1 or you can use 1 minus d1 all right friends so now first of all what i will do i'll create this donut okay to creating this donut i'll go to the insert we cannot use directly from here donut because 3d donut is not available here okay 3d pi is available here but 3d donut is not available so what i will do i'll create a shape for the donut so i'll go to the shapes and uh, then i will go to the basic shapes and here you can see this option available which is donut click on this and just uh, press shift key in your keyboard and then drag this okay like this now i'll pick this yellow handle and change the width of this donut i'll keep uh, the width like that all right now we will give the uh, 3d shape to this donut like this so what i will do i'll right click here and go to the format shape then you can see this format shape window available here in this uh, format shape option you can see this option available which is effects click on this now in the effects option you can see this option available here which is 3d rotation in 3d rotation i'll go to the preset this option and here in preset this option available which is parallel and i'll choose this option which is isometric top up click on this now you can see uh, some 3d uh, shape is uh, displaying here okay for this donut now we will give change the uh, rotation x rotation y rotation and z rotation so for x rotation i will give 340 degree here and for the y rotation i'll give 320 degree and for the z rotation i'll take 30 degree like this oh all right now i'll go to the 3d format option which is above the 3d rotation so just expand this here you can see this top bevel option available so i'll choose the bevel which is this one click on this and i'll give some depth also so i'll give depth around six or seven point so it's looking like 3d all right now i'll go to the save outline here in format and remove the outline first take no outline okay friends now our 3d shape is ready we need to just give this shadow to complete this so i'll go to the shadow option in effects and then i'll go to the shadow preset and here i'll scroll it down and we'll choose a perspective from the shadow will take this one the first one so it will look like this 3d shape all right friends so it's looking good now 
we will create the chart so i'll select this numbers then i'll go to the insert and i'll go to the charts and from here i'll choose this one which is pie chart click on this now i will remove all the elements from here like uh, chart title legend then you can see some uh, shape outline here so select this pie and go to the format here in format you can see this option available which is shape outline click on this then choose no outline all right now i will select the entire chart just click here like this so entire chart is selected and give the shape fill to the entire chart as no fill and shape outline as no outline all right friend now what i will do uh, you can see this uh, yellow oh, sorry this blue color is for service level which is 85 percent all right so just double click on this so that only service level series is selected then go to the fill and line option and choose no fill here okay now i'll make this chart little bit of smaller like this and then i will pick this chart and will keep it here and now i will check whether it is working or not so what i will do i'll put service level at zero just for the time being so you can see some shadow is still uh, we are able to see this shadow so what i will do i'll change the size of chart like this now i'll put 80 just for check it and we will adjust this so that it will fit on this donut okay now i'll give here zero so okay it's working now if i will give uh, let's say 99 okay so it's working all 50 yes good now what i will do i'll double click on this uh, orange color and then i'll go to the fill and here again i will give, give the solid fill and in solid fill i'll choose the color which is white this one with the white color i'll give some transparency so i'll give a 15 percent transparency so it's looking very good now you can see here it's looking like this okay friends now if i will change the value let's say 85 percent then you can see it's working if i will give uh, let's say 15 percent so it will look like this 25 percent it will look like this all right friends now we can put the uh, this data level and uh, here category so to do that i'll go to the insert and i will insert a text box or you can insert any word art also so i, I can choose this one and we'll change the size of this uh, font size so i'll go to the home and then i'll take font size around 20 25 like this all right now i'll give the uh, label for uh, the data label so i'll go to the insert then i will insert a text box again and click on this text box so that it can be selected now i'll go to the formula bar and i will press equal to and then i will connect it with the service level which is on d1 this is actual service level value and press enter so you can see 25 is available here now i will format this tax box so align middle uh, center center and then i'll go to the format and i will take safe fill as no fill and safe outline as no outline now we will change this say uh, this font size so i'll take font size around 35 and font i'll take font name impact and i will keep this here like this and i will take the font color as the theme color this one which is orange uh, sorry blue so i'll keep it here so our first chart is ready now we can replicate this chart for the other matrix also let me show you i'll copy this and will paste here like uh, this is quality score so what i will do i'll select one object like this and then press ctrl a so that all the object will be selected then right click and make this group so that whenever you will move the chart anywhere 
it will move like this okay now what i will do i'll copy this entire group and then paste here now first of all i'll change the chart range this range right click and go to the select data and here in series one just edit this series and then series value i'll delete this and will give new value which is j1 to k1 all right now click on ok now uh, you can see uh, this shape outline in uh, the chart the pie so i'll click on the pie first then i'll go to the format remove the shape outline and take no outline then double click on this blue which is quality score value 25 percent value and will fill it as no fill then for this orange i will uh, fill it as solid fill and will take white which is already selected because we have selected last time and now transparency i will give 15 percent all right so it is uh, looking like this if i will change the value here uh, let's say 85 then you can see this will not change only this chart will be changed but you can see uh, the data level is still not changing this level is connected with the t1 so i'll connect it with the j1 because quality score is on j1 so click on this and go to the j1 like this now again we can format this uh, like uh, font name impact impact and then 35 and color i will take this one because i'm going to give the uh, this color for the entire chart and same in place of service label you can take quality score and you can give some uh, the same theme color so i'll take this color now the time to change the color of the donut so what i will do because the donut is behind this chart so what i will do select the chart like this and right click and send it to back now the donut is in front of this chart so we can select the donut now like this and then i will go to the format and say fill i'll take this fill and right click and then uh, right click on the donut and then click on send to back so you can see our quality score chart is also ready so you just need to create one chart then you can easily replicate it for the other metrics also friends i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will give the uh, download link in my videos description box of one of my article you can download this chart from that article thank you so much for the watching